What is happening, y'all? Welcome back to the walkthrough, picking things back up from Ashina Castle Gate Fortress. Very first thing we're going to do is jump on up to here, one over this way, and get an eavesdrop opportunity. Basically, he's saying the gunpowder started his horse. Um, just a hint to use gunpowder in the upcoming boss battle. So go ahead and grab the Fistful of Ash and continue up. Gonna grab this pellet. Jump on up and then rope twice. Just to get over to here. There he is. Kill him real quick. Alright, now right over here is actually where the boss battle is at. So you can see there's a really fast path from the idol to get on over here. But we're not going for that guy just yet. There's a couple other things that we're going to do for now. Now there is a big boy that paths around. You can see him over there. Uh, he's the main thing that we want to kill before we really aggro everything in this area. So we're going to wait for Spear Guy to get a little bit closer and take him out first. Another eavesdrop opportunity, though this one's a little bit trickier to get. Closer in these guys. See you easier. Are we coming yet? He's not. Okay. Oh well, that's okay. Basically, it's just talking about Lord Yobu. Nothing big to worry about. So before shit hits the fan, we're gonna run this way real fast. Knock out, big boy. With all of them dispatched, pick up the rest of your loot. Have a shard here, got a balloon of wealth, and a heavy coin purse. Uh, let's see, sugar shard, balloon, and coin bag. Yep. All right, there we go. Um, as for our skills, you know, we still need 374 until the next skill point, and as we are about to take on the first major boss of the game, this is a good spot to very quickly just farm on up. Um, you know, hit that, get that XP, hit that skill point threshold, similar to before. Just gonna go ahead and get to our second point. Big run. In general, anytime you're fighting gunners, if you just uh, take a bit of a diagonal path, You don't get a death blow on this guy. Max helps, but... Yeah. 
You just couldn't wait your turn, could you? All right, got our skill point. Up up here. The remnant. Anyway, so because we're going into a boss, of course, we are going to uh, head on back just to make sure that we are at full health. You're going to want to put on your fireworks, and there's a skill point we're going to want to pick up, which is why it's great that this is a nice, quick little farming spot right here. So, if you have been following along in the... Uh, in the guide, you should have picked up enough prosthetic arts to get access to this tree. In this tree, you're going to want to get Grappling Hook Attack. This only costs one skill point, and it is very, very useful for the boss that we're about to fight. So go ahead and spend a point. Pick that on up. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, but I know I'm going to get that eventually. I'll save that other point. Uh, so now we're going to be going to the boss. Uh, biggest thing here is your firecrackers. You don't need anything else on. man you're in the way all right so some tips before we jump in um, this boss is going to come on out and announce himself while he is you're able to get in some free attacks as soon as he's done and he gets ready to move toss out the firecracker and do as much damage as you can I would suggest just spamming r1 you're gonna get way more damage in doing that than compared to uh, trying to use your weapon art for example uh, some other things is that he's going to basically run around on his horse and then use his spear to do like a quick 180. Anytime he does, you can use the grappling hook attack we just picked up. So you can use your grappling hook to just launch on over to him. But if you have that skill that we just got, just to show it real fast here, see that we can use the rate bumper during the grappling hook to do a quick double slash at the enemy. So a combination of that and the fireworks is all you really need. Uh, just back off and heal as as needed, and if you're really that worried, if you're having trouble with the fight, the best thing is to just play it safe and use the grappling hook combo. So, anyway, let's jump on in. Just for shits and giggles, let's go ahead and pop an Akko Sugar. Too soon. I think it's a second charge, he'll be ready again. There is a small downtime on how often you can use Firecracker. Oh, that was not close enough. The big thing here is the firecracker very, very quickly builds up poise damage because it like scares his horse. Carrying big attacks will interrupt him. Come back. He doesn't like us pissing off his horse anymore. Guess I just back off and heal as needed. Anytime he does this rope attack, you can just sit under him and get free damage in. Ah, you little shit. like one more good firecracker. And 
and that's all there is to it. So yeah, pretty pretty easy with the firecracker if you don't have it. Uh, definitely a much harder fight. But we have memory, which we can use to increase our attack damage. And now that we have the mechanical barrel, we can also begin upgrading our prosthetic tools. Uh, so after that, let's go over this way first. A couple things that we want to get. First, run over here. Pick this up. And talk to the merchant here. You'll notice that he has the firecrackers, but more importantly, he has a gourd seed available. We're going to go ahead and get back some of our gold here, sell one of our purses, and pick up that gourd seed. Uh, if you get high on gold, obviously two heavy coin purses here, so we can exchange to get a thousand worth and then another 300. Uh, and then a dragon's blood droplet as well for 180 for when people start getting dragon rot. Now, very quickly, just to touch on dragon rot briefly, uh, dragon rot basically impedes NPC quest lines. NPCs that you would have to give an item to or talk with to progress their quest line, you won't be able to if they're afflicted with dragon rot. You use a dragon's blood droplet at a shrine, it will cure everybody that has dragon rot. In general, I would suggest waiting until you have, you know, two or three people that have it before you go ahead and cure it. But this is all going to depend on, uh, you know, how frequently you're dying. So, something to keep in mind. But anyway, after him, go this way and go on inside. Talk to Tengu, bro. <笑>ウェタオカミか。切る前に名を聞いてやる。名乗り。わしに名乗るなどないか。忍びは大概そうじゃ。名乗らず死におる。じゃが、その左腕忍び義士とは懐かしい。<笑> <笑>なるほど。石碗の狼か。気に入ったぞ。ならば石炉お主を創用棒。お前は何だ。わしは足名の天狗よ。王石炉。お主も鼠も鼠狩りをせぬか。何だと。Anyway, so tell him yes. Get this, the rats, assassins from Sempo Temple, short stature, wear bamboo hats, a number of them are lurking about, last seen around Ashina Castle Gate. And I cannot stress enough how important it is to do this. If you don't do this, you're going to have a really bad time. Go ahead and get the pellet, you can open this gate on up. More world interconnectivity here. This is the area where the guy with the horse died, right there. But we're not done yet, folks. Oh no. We're gonna head on upstairs. I actually forgot about old lady. Let's go talk to little Obasan real fast. She has some dialogue. So that dialogue's uh, gonna come into play much, much later in the game. But anyway, so head on over here. We got the pellet. We got some gold on the second floor. Then you want to rope up top. Rope again. Head on over here. Jump and grab, climb on up. Get yourself a prayer bead. Alright, 
that knocked out, we're going to head back across the battlefield here. I know this is a big area, but there's nothing else out here. Just that initial item we picked up before the boss fight. Go ahead and rest at the idol. And don't forget to use that memory. Can going to use the memory to enhance our attack power, making us stronger. Before we worry about upgrading or anything, we're going to do his quest first. Right. Bad. I'll just kill you. You're in my way. Let's see just how much harder we're hitting. We want to go on up there, so rope up. On over, crouch. Uh, you'll want to put on your axe just in case these guys don't see you. Job first. Shin's illness is indeed grave. The land of Ashina will not last much longer, even with Genichiro on our side. What about our other mission? Black Hat is fighting like a demon by the Serpent Valley side of the castle. We're going to visit him soon. That's where we're going next. Keep your wits. He won't go down without a fight. Shank one. Shank the other one. Tell it. Oh shit, I didn't rest. Route of emblems. Well, ideally you want to have emblems to uh, just axe these guys, but... Without it, things are a little bit harder. Can I get some emblems off you? I really need, like, one more emblem. Man. Which one of you wants to drop emblems for me? You? Oh, one of you guys has emblems. Really? Not a single one of you is dropping emblems? I honestly feel a little robbed right now. Well, these guys are not supposed to be that hard, but... I was not paying attention. Oh god, he's got this fucking poison. Poison in this game is actually quite annoying. There we go. So we're going to go ahead and earth on out of here before we die to poison. Oh, wait. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I wasn't close enough. That's okay. Dumb shield pricks. All right. Let's go ahead. How much gold do I got? You know what? There we go. Not going to be running out for a while. So go ahead and rest. And then from here, run on back. With the three rats dead, talk to him again. Oh. Oh. Ashina Esoteric Text. Anyway, uh, very, very highly suggested that you get this. There are some passives in the Ashina text that are some of the best abilities in the game. Um, I would go as far as saying as without them, certain endgame bosses you just really won't be able to beat. So definitely, definitely, definitely pick those up. Uh, to go into those real fast, if we go to acquire skills here, uh, you can't really see much, but we do have Ichimanunji, which is my personal favorite weapon art in the game. Thing is dope. 
And then we have here, here, and here some of the best passives in the game. So I know I said I was saving, but I'm going to go ahead and get that baby because then I can get Descending Carp and Ascending Carp, which this first one is going to allow us to do more posture damage after a deflection. And this one is going to allow us to do more posture damage um, or, or just do more posture damage after we do a deflect. So basically our counterattack damage, which is going to help out quite a bit. So we're going to pick those on up, and then we'll end up proceeding through this area properly. <clears throat> First, we got to kill this guy again. Right. We're going to head back into that field. Instead of fighting those guys, they're going to come here and... Oh, he came a wolf. what I get for not having my shurikens on. Alright, let's see. Kill wolves. We'll kill these three other guys. Go ahead and pick up the shard. real fast here. Um, kill wolves through there. I mean, get shard. Jump up top. Okay. Got one. Sorry, I ignored you. Kill him, and then up. Go this way, and stealth into the grass. Put this guy down. Kill. Big boy. Let this last guy down. All we have left is this big boy here. Now, now you're thinking, what, what do I got to take this on? But this is honestly a really good opportunity for you to practice your parries against the big enemies like this. Because it's just you and the big boy with nobody else. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go this way and eavesdrop. Talking about the upcoming boss we're gonna fight. Which, on that note, uh, because we are about to fight another boss, you're going to want to go ahead and farm up to hit that point threshold. Um, now, before we go, let's see. The corner house has some stuff, mats, ash, and the sugar off the cliff. That. That. There's the cliff. Not here. It's on the other side. There we go. Now we're actually going to run on back, right where we fought this guy with the wolves. Actually, a little, uh, these guys are actually really good for XP farming early on in the game. Let's see, 82 per kill. Oh crap! Well, whatever. I got the axe. Okay, when you have, when you have your spirit emblem for the axe, they're easy claps. Just take them on out. Uh, but what you're gonna want to do here, you can see there's some stuff up there. 
we want to jump up, grab that ledge. Our hook here. Time. Second. Get grapple point showing for me. Oh, here we go. Never mind. Just didn't go far enough. There we go. That's what we want. Coin purse. And you can see it puts you right here before the boss. Uh, so we're going to rest up real fast. Go. Sugar. Iron. Where are these little dudes? Drop on down. And go back to the idol. We got one more boss we're going to tackle in this episode. <clears throat> um, I personally think this guy's a little bit harder than Gyobu, but he's not undoable. It's the Blazing Bull. A very, very aggressive boss. The fireworks will help to interrupt him, but they're not going to work for too long. So, you can deflect it when it charges you. Um, it's a little bit harder because, you know, it's just a giant bull coming at you as opposed to seeing an actual blade and being able to deflect. But anyway, <clears throat> I got a pretty good strat for this, so. On up. Yeah. It's a nice, easy run of the boss, so you don't got to worry about losing anything. We'll have to take this guy out quickly. Try and get one of these guys if you can. Because there's the bull. Looks like the bull already killed him for us. Alright, so we are going to pull the bull over into this little corner. This is the bullpen. And while it's here, firecracker his ass. Get me. We're just literally going to stay behind this thing, just fight it unlocked. Just focus on hitting it kind of right here in its in its hinds. Heal is needed. Oh, not like that though. That's that's a bad way to heal. Oh. Oh. Not think you were gonna get me so soon. I'm gonna go ahead and firecrackers. This is a healing opportunity instead. As I mentioned, you can hit this, you can like parry it and get a kill uh, via, you know, getting, getting a, a posture break, but I personally found the, the timing for it very difficult to get, so that's why I like this strategy a little bit more, just a little bit safer, you know, you're just staying behind it. It does have a kick attack that it can do, um, but I find that it's not very frequent with it, especially if you're kind of on the hind as opposed to straight behind it. for him to come back to the corner. Yep, 
Anytime it rampages around, just get out of the way. And with that, the bull is dead. So, these guys will open the gate. Oh, god. The hell, my Makiri counter isn't working too well. Let's pull him out here into the open. Come on. Guys aren't particularly hard for whatever reason. Just couldn't get the Makiri counter to hit that guy. I think it's because of the uneven elevation here, maybe. But anyway, rest at the idol, and we have successfully made our way to Ashina Castle. So wrapping this one up here, uh, as for our next episode, we're going to be hitting quite a few areas. The full castle is probably going to take about two parts, as there's a lot of interconnecting zones we're going to be going to. But either way, thanks for coming by, and I'll see you guys then.